There are a few ways that you can actually add contacts to an autoresponder cycle. And so probably the most intuitive way to do it is actually to get your autoresponder set up first and then go ahead and publish any of the sign up methods that people would use to actually sign up and join lists and also perhaps before you actually import a list of contacts that you may have. So I would recommend going ahead and having your autoresponders or cycles already set up and then we can go ahead and do uh, those uh, other options for actually having them added. So let's say for example that you've got a form uh, created in your account or you're going to create a form and you would like for whenever someone actually submits that form on your website they start receiving your autoresponder messages that you've created and so I'll show you just really quickly uh, going to the forms and then actually getting to the form settings I won't do a full you know recap here on you know the form creators but I just want to show you the settings here uh, for your forms so making sure that people will receive the autoresponders so I clicked the little settings icon uh, for this uh, form I'm creating. So let's say it's my uh, mailing homepage mailing list signups, let's say. And then we need to specify the list that this is associated with, which is of course important. This should be the list where you have set up your autoresponders. There's the uh, opt-in settings that you'll specify here, but then the uh, element that re refers to the autoresponders is add to the cycle on day. So you can see this is by default checked because the system indicates of course that I have autoresponders already created in my uh, mailing list list that I've selected here and then you would just specify so if you don't want them to be added to the autoresponder cycle you would just uncheck it but it's already checked for us which is what we want I want when someone signs up with this form they start to receive my autoresponders and they receive them on day one their welcome message but if for some reason you wanted people who sign up via this form to actually start on a different day of your cycle, you can indicate that here. So this is where, for example, people who sign up via the form will be automatically added to your autoresponder cycle. So that's going to be, you know, kind of the probably more default way that people start uh, being added into your autoresponder cycle are through the forms and landing page settings that you set up for people to start receiving your autoresponders from upon the sign up. But let's say, for example, you actually are going to be importing some contacts or adding them. If you're going to add contacts manually, you could simply select the list that you're going to be adding this particular contact to. And then you see an option here, add to autoresponder cycle and choose which day. You know, by default, it adds the to the first one that you have, the day zero, but you can choose any other day that you would like. So that's when adding you know, someone manually, you can see add to autoresponder cycle. And additionally, if you were going to actually add contacts through an import, uh, so you can see I choose upload a file and there's still the option to add to autoresponder cycle for the mailing list. So whether you're doing it one by one manually or uploading a, a actual file from your computer, you'll see the option to add to autoresponder cycle. So these are kind of pretty standard ways to add people to the autoresponder cycle when you're importing them, adding them to your account. Uh, they sign up via a form or landing page, let's say. But let's say maybe you do have some contacts who are already in your account that are not in your autoresponder cycle. And so what we can do within the search contact section of our account is go ahead and run a specific search we want to specify the list that contacts uh, would be in, uh, particularly, you know, about the a list uh, that is specific to our autoresponder cycle. Then we can add some additional conditions, which would be contact actions, autoresponder day is not assigned. And so that means it's going to bring up all of the contacts who are not currently in, an in my autoresponder cycle, but are in my list for which I have an autoresponder cycle. And so we can see if I click on someone's name here, for example, I could go ahead and where it says NA here, autoresponder day, I can add this contact to day zero, just like that. And I could add uh, that particular contact into my autoresponder cycle. And if you'd like to be able to add all of these contacts into the autoresponder day, you saw I showed you how to do it for just one particular contact, if that would be specific to you by just clicking on their details and editing it within the contact details. You could actually choose from this actions menu to move the contacts to a list, choose the same list, 
and choose Add to Autoresponder Auto Cycle on day zero, let's say. And then we're moving them basically into the autoresponder cycle. Now we can see all of those contacts who I had in that list and who were not in the autoresponder cycle now are. Or you could do it just one by one like I showed you for that one particular contact. So that's what you could do if people were currently in the autoresponder, uh, in your list, but not receiving your autoresponders. So these are some uh, you know, various ways to make sure that people begin to receive your autoresponder cycles.